If you're interested in collecting your eggs and storing them to use in your incubator, I'm gonna go through the steps today and how to do that, as well as give some tips to help get the best hatch rate possible. So in here, we've got chicken eggs and our duck eggs. You don't incubate both at the same time because it only takes 21 days for the chicken's eggs to hatch, whereas it takes 28 plus days, depending on the type of duck, for the duck eggs to hatch. If I were going to hatch these out, these would be two separate hatches. We're going to be super careful. I don't want them jostled. I don't want to trip and drop them because they can have tiny little cracks that your eyes can't easily see, little hairline cracks. You can candle the eggs and check for cracks. If you just put them against a bright light, you can see really fine cracks quite easily. When you look at these, you can see that the chicken eggs are actually quite a bit cleaner than the ducks. Some of our ducks are housed with the chickens. They just, it's wet and muddy out this time of year and they tend to get things dirtier. But when we're gonna incubate them, we're not going to wash them with water at all. You could try to scrape off some of the dirtiest parts. But I, for the most part, just leave them as they are. I'll just take a dry cloth and wipe off some of the dirtier parts. Although you might wanna wash them, don't. There's a protective covering over the eggs that will come off if you wash them. At school, out of the 18 viable eggs, 16 of them hatched out. And if you go and watch that video, it's a start to finish unboxing of the incubator, clear until cleaning up the incubator at the end. The duck eggs that we put in initially were quite dirty and it did not seem to affect the hatch rate. Sometimes chickens will lay kind of odd shaped eggs. Just avoid those. Pick the ones that look normal. Now, if you need to collect them over a couple of days, you wanna store them with the pointed side down. This helps keep the air cell on top where it naturally forms, preventing it from detaching or moving, which can harm the embryo development. This small detail can make a noticeable difference in hatch rates and chick health. While you're collecting the eggs, there's an ideal temperature storage range, and that's between 50 and 60 degrees. Do not put them in the refrigerator. That's much too cold. And don't store them in direct sunlight for the opposite reason. It can get too warm. Humidity during storage is also important because eggs are porous. If the air is too dry, they can lose moisture and if the air is too wet they can gain moisture so you want to keep them at a stable 75 to 80 percent humidity rate where i live it's very damp here if you live somewhere really dry i've read that if you take a sponge or a little bowl of water put it in where you're storing your eggs that can help keep some humidity in the air now try to collect all your eggs within a week because storing them longer than that can start to affect the hatch rate. Now before adding the eggs to the incubator, you're going to place them in a room at room temperature for at least 6 hours up to like 24 hours. You don't want to put cold eggs into the warm incubator because it, it's going to be preheated to 99 and a half degrees and that can cause condensation that will form on the shells and that condensation can seep into the pores and introduce bacteria into the embryo. I recently made a start to finish video incubating some duck eggs. And I will leave that linked down below in the description as well as a link to the incubator we got. I was extremely happy with it. It was pretty much hands free so it was a really easy process. If you're interested in videos about gardening and chickens, ducks, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and happy hatching. We'll see you next time.